So you want to learn how to trade in the Wild West, but you have no idea what you're doing. Well, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about trading in the Wild West. Let's get started. So first off, you may see that I have a couple of auction items. A couple. These are all of my items. If you want to know how to get to me like this, you're going to need to know how to get started. So first off, you need a trade ticket. It used to be the black market, but now it is the trade ticket. So you need a trade ticket to start off trading. If you don't have one, you need to go over to Howling Peak and get one in the auction house. They might be a little expensive still. Um, there's currently not one in the auction house. So yeah, you can find a trade ticket in the auction house. They actually have a shorter amount of time. Uh, most items are 10 minutes, but trade tickets are only five minutes. So uh, just to keep in mind, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, well, the starting bid is 3,500. Um, I think they can go around for like 10 to 20,000. So not too crazy, but it is quite expensive. They really should be going for around $10,000. So once you have acquired a trade ticket, you need to go over to Porto Dorado. Uh, and then you want to head over to the black market, which you can find over here at the general store. Uh, this is what it looks like. There's the uh, stable over here and then the post office. You want to head over to the general store and then you want to go down the stairs past the shop and down these stairs and you want to make sure you have your trade ticket equipped in your inventory uh, so make sure it's in your backpack um, if it's in a bank you it doesn't work um, but you need to do that and then you can unlock it and there you go this is also one of two locations in the game this is the main location that's been around ever since trading became a thing but the second location has just, just been recently added and if you go over to the reservation camp you can find it by going down this uh this road and it is right here at this mill at this bar so there's a couple of tables in here there's one right here um basically if there's a table and they have this little weighing system or the balance uh you can trade at that table so obviously i don't have anyone right now but there's a couple of them there's one here there's one there so once you've decided where you want to trade um, it doesn't really matter, they're all the same. Um, I'm gonna go back over to Porto Dorado. This is where it starts to get interesting. So once you sit down, uh, this will pop up. And your your inventory will pop up, and then the trade tab will pop up. Um, as seen in the thumbnail, as you can probably see in the thumbnail. Uh, so what you wanna, what you wanna know is that uh, there are two things. First of all, how to put the items into the trade. Uh, basically, you just click them over here in your inventory, and then it adds it. And then you can click it again to get rid of it and put it back in your inventory. Uh, it does unequip it from your loadout, but that's totally normal. Uh, then, if you want to, let's say you want to add some money, um, maybe you don't want to have to trade an item, but you want to pay for an item. Well, you can put in, I don't know, on, oops, it, it's kind of buggy. You kind of have to click it a couple times, as you can see. Um, it's like if I want to put, see, it, it's very buggy. Wonder if it, it's it's just very buggy. But once you click it, you can put a hundred bunch of money in there. Uh, obviously, I can't afford that. But put fifteen thousand dollars. Maybe I want to buy a uh, trade for I don't know a accordion or something uh, that you can trade for. Uh, but there is a difference. So the difference is definitely something to look at. It is very significant. Uh, so like. I, the only way really to trade for like something high value is with a trade ticket so yeah but the difference uh if you want to trade like a prototype for a spitfire that's not going to work there's too much difference um or like a spitfire for a piece of coal it's not gonna work you have to pay um you'd have to put in money or more items to differ the difference i guess it's very hard to describe but also the other thing is you want to see the fee um so the fee is gets very expensive as you can see when I put my prototype in it goes to a thousand dollars um when I put my Kukri in it goes to a thousand seven hundred dollars um like just look at this look at this. it goes really high up in value when you add more items like just look that's a lot of money um Spitfire can get very expensive and same with Axcon I think it's like around eight thousand dollars just for the one gun so yeah but this the diff the fee is only for your items that you're putting into the offer so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, it's not what they're putting in their offer, it's what you're putting in your offer. Here is a list of all the items and what they are worth. Same with cereals. Um, if you want to pause the video, 
you can pause it to look at it. I'll also leave it in my Discord server pinned in the trading channel, so you can see it in the pins there um, if you want to see it easier and like zoom in on it and stuff. But uh, this is a very good valuable item list of all the items, what they're worth, and then what the s certain cereals are worth for the items. Another thing is that you can't trade um, gold items, so you can't trade this. You can't trade a early access item, you can't trade the game pass items. You also can't trade normal like general store items, uh, not buyable little items. You can't, yeah, you can't try, trade buyable items. You can only really trade like pelts and valuable sell, sellable things. So like you can trade legendary pelts and normal pelts, zombie pelts, polar bear pelts, um, claws and stuff and teeth but you can't trade general store items or anything. You can also trade event item things, so like the frozen volcanic, this frozen axe, you can trade that. Uh, you can trade the frozen, or the, not the frozen, the cursed volcanic pistol, the red items, like the red items and the blue items, uh, the frost items, and then you can of course trade all the auction items. So every single auction item is guaranteed to be tradable. So once you go into the auction house, you're guaranteed to be able to trade it. So yeah, here's a tradable items thing. You are not able to trade any of these items. So if you want to pause the video to see that, you are not able to trade any of those. And you are able to trade all of these items. So yeah, everything there you can trade if you want to pause that. So that's just the list of anything you can trade and not be able to trade. So that's basically everything you need to know about trading in the Wild West. Um, I hope you, this did help you out. Um, it is pretty complicated at some times with like the difference and the, what things are worth and getting people to uh, trade with you. If you want some good trading Discord servers, I have a good trading channel on my Discord server. The Starboard Studios Discord server has a good one. A variety of, dis of Wild West YouTubers all have a trading channel in their Discord. So that's basically the best. Honestly, the Discords are the best place to find people to trade, you w trade with. Um, just going around in servers is not, don't spam and chat for trading for something. That's not what you want to do, nobody's going to trade with you then. Um, and don't spam in Discord channels, you're going to get banned or something. <laughs> well, hello, Big Jimmy. Oh, well, so Big Jimmy, if you don't have a trade ticket and you walk in here, he's going to kapow you. <laughs> I hope this helps you out uh, in the trading in the Wild West. Um, if you want to learn more or have more questions, definitely head over to the Wild West Wiki on trading. I will leave it linked in the description below. There's a lot of good information on here. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.